Hello, my fellow water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Welcome in. I've got a special blessing for you. It's high time you got some serious encouragement on your path. And that's what I want to bring you, okay? I'm bringing you some very serious messages to bless you, especially now since you're uh, uh, going through all these really nice changes. They seem so difficult, but the master always knows that he carries a lesson um, and, and just integrates that lesson into his being and then implements it in the rest of his life and makes him stronger, better character. I cleared the air now for the Scorpio, for the Cancer, for my lovely Pisces right now, calling in ancestors and calling in guides, calling in everyone that wishes to speak to the water signs through me. I open myself up as a channel to white light through Jesus Christ and through the authority of prophetic spirit, Melchizedek, Metatron, okay, and Jesus. I don't think you ought to mess with that. We work with uh, healing, um, spiritual soul healing. Um, before you can heal it, you gotta feel it. And sometimes in order to feel it, you gotta see it. So this is a blessing for you. Get yourself aligned. I'm gonna read something to you and see what spirits brings forth. Take what you need and leave the rest. It may play over anybody's perspective, but it is for you, okay? I love you. This smells so good, Palo Santo. It's like the ultimate. And it is one of the main ingredients in my main product, which is the Oracler Holy Oil. It's a sacred oil put together, shamanic, sacred. This is a new oil that I sell. I'm using it on your reading, you guys. Attract love naturally. It's pure oils and pure base with rose quartz. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful, Lang Lang. It smells like the softest cotton candy, but it just sets you up for attraction, right? And it blends in with your own pH, and then you naturally attract what you are desiring and communicating to the universe. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Bless you. Let me do a quick sound healing. What do you want to say? For the water signs, you're very loved. I know you feel very alone right now, but you're not, because we are opening the portals and we're allowing who you want to allow in and who you want to allow out of your sphere. You make a choice. It's your path. How do you want to feel it? You're a water sign. You gauge everything off of emotions. Thank God for that. You're like the waters washing away impurities, ill intent, lies, standing up for children, standing up for each other, and holding space like masters. Ooh, wow, that was deep. Namaste. Wow, that was deep, guys. Whew, at least I felt it. So thank you, Spirit, for that nice opening. All right, so I am um, <clears throat> I'm an intuitive reader, very, very gifted, but I let the gift flow, and I stay grounded in my faith. You guys, you guys are super powered right now. I hope you're doing your thing, because you should be. All right, so this is going to be people in your life. These are the zodiac signs you might be dealing with primarily. I'm going to pull three of those. We're going to get into the now, and we're going to get into the hidden of the soul. <clears throat> we've got love. We've got destiny, but I'm going to start with this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Right now, please guide me into this message. What is the secret language of light, the transmission that's being blasted out of the water signs into the cosmos and into the collective so that it can become it can be become a message. What is that message, please? I don't do many of these, but I do like them. They're a lot of fun to tap into you as a collective. You and the water signs. So you're staying grounded. Oh, very good. You're grounding and learning more about holding space. That's what they said in them opening. Holding space, divines. Okay, we love you. That's what another thing they said. 
We have a sacred geometry card for you. Water signs, here you are. If it weren't for your emotion and your sensitivities, your beauty, your blue, the ability to be the blue and to mangle all these beautiful elements together, you're healing the planet. All your tears are healing the planet. I told you they loved you. That's a beautiful message. Let's take a look at uh, what the actual message might be here. Let's look. We're doing this as a all-around collective. If it is your story, you'll relate to it. And if it's healing to you, accept it. If it is not, just let it go, please. It's all energy. Everything's energy. Water signs. A lot of releasing. It's almost like I released a big fire out of my gut um, just now. And I felt the emotion rise up. Sort of like a big air bubble is coming up. So that's kind of cool. Let it go. Oh, that, look at this. That looks like air bubbles a little. Interesting collective air. All right. What is the message for the collective of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? I would separate you, but I, I want to condense the reading and get to the point. Give you something to go with. Oh, well, let's see. Huh. The throat chakra. Being victorious. Six of Wands. In love. Many of you have met someone. Um, it makes you feel wonderful. You feel like you're at the crossroads. What does this mean, the throat chakra? Gaia, what are you saying to my water signs? You, you're going to come back out if you want to. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what's on your throat? Coming out of solitude. <clears throat> Speaking their way out of solitude. One moment. With patience and planning, you guys have stepped up to the plate. You have stepped up to the plate. You have shown your soul to the universe. You are crying for the universe. You're trying to get victory over it. You're trying to save the planet. You are saving the planet, water beings. And so therefore you're finding harmony and love. This could be a Gemini. For many of you, this could be a cancer, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is someone that has to speak their truth. They have to come out of solitude and speak their truth. What is that? Please explain. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is hindering the throat? Or helping it? What is hindering the throat? Uh... Again, we're at five, the throat chakra. Take notice, my loves. Mm -hmm. Okay, my throat just kind of got locked up. <clears throat> somebody doesn't feel like they can speak their feet. They, somebody doesn't think they're going to be heard. There's conflict and defeat. It's five of coins in reverse. So maybe in order to come out of feeling terribly, terribly withdrawn, solitude, and, and feeling coming out, you need to protect what you have. Gaia represents mother, Pachamama, right? Protect what you have. Love what you're doing. Speak your truth. Um, even if it's to say goodbye, this, you know, this will not work. If someone hasn't done it, do it. Uh, but you still have your guard, you know, and there's like looking forward to coming out of solitude. Well, absolutely. I'm ready now. I'm going to have success in this because my, I'm ready now, water signs say. I'm ready to create. I'm ready to be fertile. I'm ready to create a family. I'm divine feminine. Oh my God, girls, you need to get with me. I have something for you. It comes. This comes in the kit. It comes with two baths, two sprays, a gift, a um, divine feminine blessing. Oh man, like mantra. And you own yourself back. And it's so beautiful. It's like ceremony, guys. All right, tell me more about the fertility. Beth, what do you think you're doing? 
Pop, pop. Okay, communicating. So many of you are going to be talking to someone new. You're going to be dating or talking to someone new. You're going to have to open up. Where is this person coming from, please? Spirit, for the water signs. Where would this person be coming from? Give us an idea. Someone that tells the truth now. Someone that comes out and speaks their honest truth. Final judgment. And? What is that final judgment? What is it? Not too many. Can't take that. I just want one, please. And then I'm going to look at who might be playing here. Water signs. What is it? All right. <clears throat> On one hand, some someone, a masculine, is trying to come out of, because number 28 is a masculine number, trying to come out of um, feeling defeated, never being able to speak their peace, uh, not being able to say goodbye, suffering in solitude and just forever, longing the hell out of you, water sign, wanting to talk to you really, really bad and tell the truth because they love you, but they can't seem to make that happen. What's holding them back? Spirit, tell us. Trapped in fear. There's things they don't know. You might have them blocked. Tell me more. Yeah, obstacles and challenges. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they're trapped. They're held back with no money or nothing to offer. At this time, they got five, five, five. They're in deep desire to make something right. Tell me what their outcome might be. No, they're not going to be able to bring it. So you guys might as well just let go of that energy. Release it. That's what my kid, my goddess kid is for. We're going to find out who might be this person. What are the energies predominant that our water signs seem to be continuously dealing with? And these energies of battle, protection, uh, separation. What the hell? Someone that's always feeling like they're the one that's left out, but had they understood they were not playing from a, an emotional place where they had enough empathy to tap into this water sign to make this a true love, they didn't get that. So because they left somebody out, somebody left them out. And that's just the dealio. Here it is. Sagittarius shows up. Pisces shows up. Who else please spirit? Water signs. Arbitrary energies or energies involved in this scenario, please. One more, please tell us. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Water signs, Cancer. So, pretty heavy emotions here. You know, you got someone that's a, a little spitfire, not knowing what their intentions are. Then you have Pisces who is very, very, very emotional, but sometimes indecisive, and it keeps you in a, in a mess. Uh, some of you, uh, Cancer is very emotional and motherly and wants to set up house right away. However, um, not everybody does. This person's on the run. You know, they don't like that too much. And this one just plays. This is moon energy. Um, Spirit, this is very interesting. Tell us what the current mindset, the conscious mindset is. Where is the head going for the water signs while dealing with these traumas? You're taking it up a notch, dudes. You're going right in and figuring it out. You're doing it yourself, water signs. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. So now your channels. Okay, that is very cool. A love message from my sweetie. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Oh, my darlings. Oh, my darlings. You really been through it. Guess what? <laughs> People have to figure it out. They have to make peace within. No matter what the reason for anything is. Please, get in touch with Gaia. Ground yourself. Meditate every day. Speak your truth. Sing your truth. Dance your truth. Whatever that is, tell somebody something and get it off your chest. And you'll be speaking your truth. Don't hold back. Come right out and talk. Thank you. Here we go. Love wants to say. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's your message to our lovelies. Please tell us. 
Mm. Oh, this one. I'm going to spray these too. This is Attract Love Naturally. It's so fabulous. Okay, bringing in the good vibes. The lovelies. It almost smells like cinnamon and cotton candy. But I assure you, passion. You guys are, are following your passions. You might have met someone. It could be a, any of those signs. But you're checking out in with your religion, with your deep-seated faith, and seeing how that melds with your relationships. That could be the case. Let's see this. Water signs. We're going into the uh, path. What is the sacred path that they find themselves on at this time? What is this common commonality? Even though they're completely different um, energies, they still carry the energy of Gaia and the nurturance on the planet. Keeps everybody in check. Sometimes you empaths suffer so deeply. The world hurts so much that you can sit there in meditation and suddenly you feel it and you're jolted with pain. But you go ahead and cry, kiddos. And then guess what? You rise like a diamond, okay? Love you. Courage, get out. Don't play, don't play. Get out and tell your truth. Oh my God. And release, release. Really? Oh my God, finally. Water signs, that's a good message. We're going to look at um, what may be a hindrance. We're looking at the sacred level. We're going to see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell us the message. What is it? What is the hidden factor? Come on. The sacred rubble. What's happening? Status, please. <laughs> Come on. Give it to me. Mm. You guys, you don't want to tell. Look, you've been holding back your truth. and I'm, I'm releasing it right now. Open up. you got to figure out how to give the courage to put that shit in action. It could be the one, but what you have to do is put something in action. Now. You have to let go and look at things from a really, really, really um, broader perspective to release a lot of energy that you might be carrying. I'm bringing Ascended Masters in to talk. Many of you are going to find out what it felt like. To know. Many of you are finding out now or you're about to really release, get your courage and tell your truth and release this. And what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to like quantum jump into healing. And Valerian says, you're going to feel what you haven't allowed yourself to feel yet. What else please for my water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please. The anointing is upon me, you guys. So there's a reason why are you getting these messages? Listen, you guys. Manjushri, listen. Listen with your soul. Listen with the way you tell your truth. You repeat your truth. Listen to the stories you repeat. Make sure that it is actually the truth so that the whole universe can line up and help you come out of the closet. Some of you are, um, some of you have a sexual preference and you've been holding back, telling anybody about it. And, or anything, maybe something that you're wanting or you're just hiding, right? I'm a Sutra says, come out. You're very glorious. You're not even being seen. You need to be seen. You're not letting yourself be seen. What else, please? And Moses. Take charge of the situation. Water signs, male, females. You need to do something here. This is almost like a commandment from God. This is the water waves, look. The waves behind Moses. The waves. This is you and you changing the universe in meditation. And then when you're done and you're released. Hold on. Um, and you've released. 
then what you do is you take charge of this. You, you're diving. You're going in for the real thing. Many of you are very spiritual right now. Um, you're tired of the darkness, and you're coming out of that. You're releasing. You have the courage to speak your truth. And I, I just think that's awesome. Go, kid, go kids. Artistic expression, too. So many of you have to have the courage to express yourself and get your beautiful artwork out there. Get your priorities right. Solomon is here. Use wisdom in your transactions, in your dealings. One more, please, and then we're done. Isis, balance career and home life. You guys take charge of this shit. It's your life, your destiny, your path. Uh, you want to clear it up. You want um, everything good, man. I love you. Namaste. Thanks for being here. Like, subscribe, share. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on my website. And check my sacred products at Etsy.com. Robin's Realm Readings. I love you. Bye.